So one thing I see frequently on Facebook is somebody posting that their account has been hacked and to not accept friend requests from them. So let me explain a little bit more about what the difference is between being hacked and being spoofed. There are two different ways that this can happen. One is that somebody has spoofed your account. What that means is they've created their own Facebook account that has your profile picture, that has your name, and they start reaching out to your friends for friend requests. Well, the friend is already associated as a friend with the main account. This means that you are not hacked, you are spoofed. And what they're doing is they're trying to become friends with your friends and then they're going to reach out and try to scam your friends. So when this happens, the best thing to do is to report this spoofed account. Um, there's nothing that you need to change on your account. You haven't been hacked. You don't need to change your password. They've just stolen your pictures and they've stolen um, who your friends are and are requesting those friends. So you just need to report this new account to Facebook saying they're trying to impersonate you. Now, a new one I've seen on Instagram has been super successful and that is that they keep changing their name and, um, and requesting friends, but because they keep changing the name and the profile picture, it will show that they have a lot of friends. Um, and so when you look at the account and you see that there's 170 followers or friends, then you're like, oh, this must be a legitimate account. Uh, instead of when you go to the profile and there's only like five friends, then you know, okay, this is a spoofed account. This isn't actually my friend. So when you do get a friend request like that, it's best to do a Facebook search for that friend's name and see if you're already friends with their correct profile. If you are, there's nothing you need to do. Um, you can tell your friend they should report that false account, but that's about it. If you are the one that has been spoofed and you think you might be hacked or something like that, there's a few easy ways to tell. You can go to your direct messages and see if you've been sending any messages to people. So if you're sending messages that you didn't actually send, then that's a good indication that you have been hacked instead of spoofed. The other thing is look at your profile page. See if there's any pictures or any links that you are posting to your profile that you are not posting. Again, that is another indication that you have been hacked and not spoofed. So now if you've been hacked, there's usually some resources that you can use. One of these resources is to go to, um, so say your Instagram account has been hacked. You can go to instagram.com slash hacked and report it and try to get in through there. There will have some verification process for you. Um, and then same with Facebook as facebook.com slash hacked. And then there will be some verification process for you to try and get back into your account. Now, if you are a person and somebody is sending you strange direct messages, you can look and see if it is the account that you are normally associated with. You're not accepting any new friend requests from that account, but they are sending you messages that you think are a little shady. A couple good things to do would be ask this person how you met. Um, and then if they can answer that, then it's definitely your friend. If they can't answer that, then it is probably somebody who has hacked your friend's profile. So if they have been hacked, go ahead and let them know through a different means, text them and or email them or however else you can communicate with them and let them know, hey, your Facebook account, your Instagram account has been hacked and then give them that resource, instagram.com slash hacked, facebook.com slash hacked. Um, this is similar to email too. So emails also can be spoofed. It can look like it's coming from Sarah or coming from your boss, but it might not actually be coming from them. Again, there's nothing really you can do about a spoofed email. They can pretend that they are coming from that email address just as easily as their own email address. So even though an email says it's coming from a specific person, if you write them back, hey, I got this strange email from you, 
You can confirm if they had sent that or not, but if they have not sent it, then there's nothing really that the person can do to prevent somebody from spoofing their email address. But if it is actually coming from their account and they can look in their sent folder to see if their account has been sending those messages, if it is, then they should make sure they change their password or do something to kick that other person out of their account. Or if you cannot access your account, that is another indication that you have been hacked, not spoofed. So hopefully that gives you a little insight into the difference between being hacked and being spoofed. And we will see you next time.